Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. We've got the Detroit Pistons taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. Tip-off goes to Milwaukee. And now the opening lineup for Detroit. Chauncey Billups out there with Richard Hamilton. Then it's Wallace. Then it's Darko Milicic. And it's Williamson in at the small forward position. With deep range and a wide arsenal of moves, Holiday keeps defenders off balance. To the middle. Rebound by Drew Holiday. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. It's a three-point game. Even Shenzo hits the bucket. What a special player Antetokounmpo is sharing the sugar there. The vision he showed. Nice shot finding the open man. Here's Billups following the three by Milwaukee and the foul on Drew Holiday. That is his first foul of the game. against DiVincenzo. Ball is trying to break free. Offensive rebound. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And Wallace is just an unreal defender. An undersized center who blocks shots and pounds the glass like a madman. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. And he's good on the second. The Bucks with a quick start to this game. Middleton the pass to Giannis. And here is DiVincenzo. And another three for Milwaukee. Oh, great ball movement there. Phillips passes to Wallace. Hamilton outside. Now Billups. Back to Hamilton. Five on the clock. Williamson against Holiday. Snatched up. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Relentlessness describes Ben Wallace on the glass. Always attacking and corralling rebounds out of midair. Now here's Middleton. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for Milwaukee. They've definitely had a hot hand from three-point range. Always nice to get off to a good start. Also, what passing we've seen from them here early. I mean, there could be a big number in the assist column if this keeps up. The first one falls. Boy, for me, it's really been fun watching the evolution of Chris Middleton. I mean... A rangy two guard who can really stuff the stat sheet. Middleton hits them both. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldrin. Thanks, Kevin. The Pistons head coach and I did get a chance to talk. And one player on his mind was Drew Holiday. And his ability to attack a defense with his playmaking. His coach said, with Drew, you have to worry about his shooting and his passing. He's the complete guard. He may be underrated still, but he is one of the more talented players in the league. Guys? Thanks so much, David. Shot clock at six. 
Phillips dishes to Hamilton. Williamson from long range. And so far, having trouble converting on the inside. Yeah, those are the shots you want. But they've been trickling out on them, guys. They've just got to stay with it. Persist in getting those good shots inside, and they'll drop. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with punt blazing. Here's Milicic. Ball is trying to break free. Milicic, no luck. And it's the Bucks on the break. And Antetokounmpo slams it in. How about the springs of this guy, Antetokounmpo, also known as the Creek Freak? I mean, he just gets up off the ground like a rocket on these alley-oop chances. Here's Wallace, and it's sent back by Lopez. Here's Holiday. Rebound by the Pistons. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. That one goes. Count it. And how about the size Phillips has at that point guard spot? Uh, even when he gets hit, he's got the strength to play through the contact. Now oh, here's Young. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. What a play. And when the Greek freak takes flight, I mean, he's looking to tear that rim apart. So ferocious in his throwdowns. And the Pistons decide to take their first timeout right here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, Williamson kicks to Hamilton, passes it to Milicic. It's so about it's a Kumbo. All alone, and the dunk by Giannis. Antetokounmpo, so ferocious in transition. I mean, an incredible athlete who loves to take advantage of these situations. Now here's Billups. Hamilton outside. And the pass to Wallace. Shoots a fader. Giannis grabs the miss. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Basket counts. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Now here is Hamilton. No points in the game yet for him. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pistons will retain possession. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. Let's a floater go. And the defense not making things easy for them. Yes, they're having a hard time getting the ball in the basket. And as a result, falling behind here. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. And, you know, that involves pounding it inside, getting as many points as you can right at the rim. That demoralizes the team. And it doesn't even matter that he's surrounded on that possession. He's got the size to pull those boards down anyway. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that. 
if you're on that side of the scoreboard, and they are landing some haymakers now. Now a timeout called by Detroit. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. the pass to Milicic. Richard Hamilton on the wing. Defended by DiVincenzo. No good from Hamilton. Boy, oh, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. Phillips against Helen. Here's Antetokounmpo. Detroit with the rebound. Hamilton outside. The basket good off the assist from Phillips. Boy, I like how Chauncey Phillips looks to share the ball. He's a sturdy point guard with a great feel for when his guys are open. Now here is Holiday. He has seven. There's the lob and the combo. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. In the corner, Billups with it. Back to Hamilton. Here's the three. That shot, no good. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. I tell you, that's why Anta Tacumpo is so feared Lee White. I mean, when he's close to the rim, he's most likely going to flush it on you. Phillips against Holiday. There's the triple. They get it again. Won't. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with a soft touch to match. Now here is Holiday. It's out of the combo on the wing. Pistons trail by 18. Now here's Williamson. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks, Bobby Portis has checked in for Lopez. P.J. Tucker comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Dante DiVincenzo. Here is Forbes. A floater. Two on the clock. And stolen by Hunter. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Bucks leading by 16. Here's Holiday. He has seven. Here is Forbes. Pass to Connaughton. Takes the three. Eldon Campbell with the rebound just doing the job on the backboard. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And 
And they look strong here in the early going. Here is Forbes following the basket by Chauncey Billups. And Forbes kicks to Portis on the wing. Holiday. Lock at six. Shoots from 14. No good on that one. Now the Pistons take it the other way. Here's Billups. Makes it off the glass. Billups has got six. No defensive pressure at all. I mean, that's not going to get it done against him. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. You're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. And here's Holiday. He's got seven. Here is Forbes. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Bucks lead by 14. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Holiday left side. He gets it in there. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. Hunter, no one around him. And out of bounds as the Bucs gain possession. And here's Holiday, who will bring it up for Milwaukee. 16-point lead. Knocked away. Pass to Forbes. Tucker with the ball. Campbell defending. Here is Forbes. Holiday, the pass to Forbes. Off the mark there with the three point shot. Pistons trail by 16. There's a minute 34 and left to play in the first quarter. Billups kicks to Hunter. Five to shoot. That's good from Wallace on the assist by Hunter. Wallace has got nine. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Portis can't get it to go. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Milwaukee leading by 12. 52 seconds left to play in the first. Here's Tucker. Banked in off the glass. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. Yeah, they've got to do a little more to disrupt their offensive rhythm, too. Phillips with the ball. Picked up by Portis. Tries from seven. It's rebounded by Portis. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. seconds left in the first quarter of the game and despite that miss a strong start for them offensively yeah they're scoring with confidence making them count in the early going here now here's Hunter guarded by Holiday here's Campbell and foul on the shot he'll shoot two at the free throw line For Detroit, they have converted one of two free throws so far today. He misses the free throw. And the second free throw, good. 11 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And here's Holiday over Hunter. 
can't hit from the elbow. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. Back right after this. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And quite a position here for the Bucks to be in. What do you think, guys? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. Yeah, I like the way they play. They're looking to get up and down the court every time. Racehorse basketball here tonight. Strap it up. Don't look down. You'll miss something. Pistons trail by 13. On the court for the Pistons. Campbell is out there with Wallace. Then there's Chauncey Billups. Then there's Hunter. And it's Ham in at the three. And the basket is good. And 11 points for Wallace. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. Holiday dishes to Forbes. Holiday looking over the floor. Over Hunter. Rebound by Wallace. Wallace has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Phillips. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Phillips has got 10. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Ham passes to Billings. Pistons working now with a new shot clock. And Ham gets it to go. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. And Tucker kicks to Forbes. Passes it to Holiday. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Pistons trail by seven. Out to Wallace. Out to the right wing. Here's Ham. Milwaukee with the rebound. And guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. Now Billups following Drew Holiday's three-point attempt. Count that one. He's got 12. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Timeout called. The Bucks. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Brook Lopez is checked in for Portis. Antetokounmpo comes in for P.J. Tucker. Chris Middleton's checked in for Pat Connaughton. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Drew Holiday. Then for the Pistons, Darko Milicic, she's checked in for Wallace. And Williamson subbed in for Chauncey Billups. Here's Lopez. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. He is actually two hands full inside. And Lopez more than happy to take the trip to the line. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Pistons. You know, guys, we've really seen them do a lot of damage in the paint so far. Yeah, the other thing, though, is they have attacked in the open floor. They're definitely getting a lot of easy ones that way. That free throw good from Lopez. And Brooke Lopez a little bigger and more of an offensive player than his brother Robin. But they've both turned into quality big men in this league. Detroit making a switch here. Hamilton's checked in. And he makes both free throws. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Hunter with it. Lopez over to help. Hunter the pass to Campbell. Williamson outside. Six on the shot clock. 
Here's Hamilton. And, and Hamilton just constantly working his tail off. Excels shooting it from mid-range. Just always on the move, constantly working off screen. The Pistons shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Shooting two. Good from Hamilton. And Hamilton hits both of them. Now DiVincenzo. Ten points for him. And it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Forbes dishes to Hatsutakumbo. That shot misses. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Pretty clear. It's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. Now here's Middleton. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Elbow shot is on the way. That's in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Richard Hamilton. Beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. This game was in danger of getting away from them. They've made a nice push to keep it close. They've been going to him an awful lot this game, and you can see why. He's pouring it on. Inside. Here's Campbell and the rejection by Antetokounmpo. And the amount of space Antetokounmpo covers is really breathtaking. You got to see it to believe it. I mean, he erases shots that you think he has no chance to get to. And so it's Detroit with the ball after the basket by Milwaukee. The pass to Milicic. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. The kick out to Antetokounmpo. Sinks the three-pointer. And now it's an eight-point Bucks lead. Now a timeout called by Detroit. You look at Andy Dekumbo really making a difference here. And he has absolutely worn them out in the paint. They, they need to come up with a plan to limit his touches in the interior. Middleton against Williamson. Pass to Hunter. Looking to end the run. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Antetokounmpo's got his fifth rebound in this one. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used this contribution. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Here's Campbell, and misses it off the right side of the rim. 
And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. 22 is their biggest lead. Boy, nice job that time, guys, from Forbes. Spotting the wide open man and dropping the dime. Pistons trail by 12. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Williamson kicks to Hamilton. Shoots over DiVincenzo. The offensive rebound. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. Now here is Hamilton. Six points for him. Shots good by Milicic. And with that one, he halts an 11-0 run by the Bucks. Out of the Kumbo, kicks to Forbes. Back to Giannis. And you know, at almost seven feet tall, Ante the Kumpo is it's dangerous down inside, really. I mean, the defense has to be physical with him if they want to have a chance at preventing him from scoring in the paint. The Bucks have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. And team stats last season, 74% shooting. So some numbers that they can definitely improve upon. throw good Giannis yeah Anna the Kumpo has really learned how to get himself to the foul line it's one of the easiest ways to score the ball he gets to the stripe at a higher clip with each passing year Wallace has checked in for Eldon Campbell and he can't hit the second as we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Boy, it certainly appears to be the case. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. Williamson, the pass to Hunter. Down low, Milicic, and he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Oh, that's straight TNT, baby. Uh, Explosive. That was pretty, and he just has that effortless knack for getting inside. Tell you what, you hate to be the guy having the responsibility of guarding him. You make your teammates better by giving them good passes. That one was perfect. Now, here's Hunter. T right on him. Hamilton outside. Wallace against Antetokounmpo. Wallace misses. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. Antetokounmpo passes to Forbes. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Antetokounmpo's got his fifth assist in this one. Now here is Hamilton. He has six. Shoots over DiVincenzo. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Better to be lucky than good. Got that shot to fall. Here is Forbes. Down his high post. And onto the combo, slams it in. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. And here is Hunter. Here's Hamilton. Hands it from downtown. Hamilton's got nine points now in the quarter. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. To the paint. The shot's good from Forbes. And the Bucks lead by 12. You know, Forbes is slight of frame, guys, but deceptively strong. He can finish through contact if he has to. Hunter, the pass to Williamson. And he gets it to go. And the Bucks with possession here. Here is Forbes. He has six. And Giannis throws it down. And you know, this is why people are so high on Antetokounmpo. I mean, his build and skill set are both platinum level. And he knows how to kick his game up a gear, too. And it goes out of bounds. 
Nice touch by Anna Dekumbo. And the Bucks making a change here. Holiday's checked in. Milwaukee on D. A 12-point game. They double him with Middleton. Here's Ham, defended by Middleton. Ham, no luck. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. DiVincenzo kicks to Antetokounmpo. Over Ham. Antetokounmpo can't get it to go. Pistons trail by 12. Here's Ham. And Middleton with the block. Boy, the defensive hustle there by Middleton. Stretching out and getting his hand on that shot. Excellent effort. The Bucks have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. Two shots. That's good from out of the Kumbo. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. A different look for Milwaukee. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Lopez. And it's Pat Connington in for Dante DiVincenzo. And both free throws good for Giannis. Pistons trail by 14. Outside Billups. Pass to Hamilton. A three-pointer off the mark. And we haven't seen them get to the line as much here in the second quarter. They might be settling a tad too much offensively. I, I think you're right. I mean, an up fake here or there, getting the ball inside. That's how you create high percentage offense. by Giannis. Fast break, Milwaukee. Here's Tucker. Up and in on the layup. Tucker's got his second basket of the game. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Not the Tukumpo, the Greek freak, showing again how committed he is when he takes that ball inside off the drive. Holiday against Billups. They could use a bucket. Doesn't go for him. Now the Bucks take it the other way. On the wing, Holiday. He's guarded by Billups. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. Outside Billups. Shoots over Tucker. Detroit no good that time either. Milwaukee leading by 20. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading perhaps. You know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. He was all alone on that one. Phillips has got 15. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would have the lead. Here's Young. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Sometimes it's a real trick bag trying to guard onto the Kumpo. I mean, his skill set and build and length and athleticism draws a ton of fouls. For Milwaukee, they have been coming through at the charity strike. They've made seven of their eight attempts. And the first one drops. And the Bucks making a change here. Oh. 
All three throws good from out of the combo. Here's Hamilton. He's got 11. With one on the clock. No good on the last second attempt there. A dominating first half of basketball. And so far, hasn't been close. The Bucks on top, up 19. We'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. A tremendous game we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had 34 points, 11 rebounds, and one steal. And he might not get all the attention, but you talk about smooth scoring wings in this league, fellas. Chris Middleton right at the top of that list. Kenny, you a fan? Yeah. I mean, he got a great shooter. Doesn't need a high volume, high efficiency. He can get buckets at all three levels, inside, outside, and mid-range. Love him. You know, he's great pairing with the other. He gets you inside. Middleton can hurt you from the outside. And he spells Chris, K-H-R-I-S. Got to like that. Mm. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You look at Anadokounmpo in this one, he's been everywhere. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Pistons trailed by 19. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Holiday, and it's Middleton in at the three spot. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. Here's Hamilton following the bucket by the Bucks. Over onto the Kumbo. Here's Wallace. At basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. You've got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. Holiday, the pass to Antetokounmpo. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And the ball handling of Antetokounmpo. My goodness, really unreal. For a guy his size, his dribbling is ridiculous. Now here is Hamilton. Pass to Billups. Here's Milicic, defended by DiVincenzo. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. There's no surprise there. I mean, realizing he has the size advantage, he exploits it perfectly. Detroit shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. And the Bucks with possession here. 22 is their biggest lead. Here's the pass to Antetokounmpo. Middleton with it. Fires the three. Rebound by Wallace. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. I see him. Here's Williamson. Rebounded by the Bucks. Holiday's got four rebounds in this game. A solo fast break. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Holiday against Billups. Here's Hamilton. Lopez with the block. 
You can see Lopez tracking that shot the whole way. Nice awareness from him and a terrific rejection as well. Pistons trail by 20. And here we go. The Pistons fast break. Hamilton's got the ball. Boy, that's finishing the defense there. He made a good effort on that possession defensively and then closed it out with the rebound. He's an explosive athletic guard. And I tell you, the coaching staff must love watching Holiday in the open court. And Detroit has possession following the bucket by the Bucks. Hamilton outside. Six to shoot. Wallace dishes to Hamilton. Launches it. They grab their own miss. Some solid defense from Antetokounmpo. Boy, he has to put that one away. A solid opportunity. Gone a rock. Even Shenzo gets the bucket. Well, I tell you, it, it raises his value so much when Antetokounmpo keeps his teammates engaged. I mean, it gives opponents a lot more to worry about than just him. Now a timeout called by Detroit. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. in for Detroit. Here's Wallace. He's got 13. They need this and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first personal foul. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. Two shots. free throw missing that's off as well so he misses both and it's out of bounds the Pistons able to retain possession here we have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. The, the defensive awareness, the timing, when you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. Here's Hamilton. And since halftime, he just doesn't have a clue when it comes to shooting. Just couldn't take the lid off. They had their chances, but came up at the Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. Phillips against Holiday, and the foul on Drew Holiday. That's foul number two for him. The Pistons making a change here. Hunter's checked in. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Phillips against Holiday. Phillips kicks to Hunter. Hunter to Kumbo on the double team. Clock is at three. Right side Phillips trying to get something going. And he hits the jump shot. Phillips has got 17 now. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today. Because without him, this thing would already be over. Middleton looking it over. Campbell with it. 
Now Williamson. Lopez with the steal. And here we go. The Bucks running again. And now that's how to finish the break. Through down with the push. Boy, that was a nice leak out by Middleton. Took advantage of his quickness there. Outside Billups. He kicks to Hunter. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Billups, no good. Here's Milwaukee now. Pass to Holiday. Loads it up for Giannis. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. You know, that's just sloppy basketball giving away a possession. No real reason for that turnover. And the Pistons making a change here. Now here's Billups. He's got 17. Pass to Campbell. Over onto Takumbo. Detroit, no good that time either. And so it's Milwaukee now. To the inside, Evangenzo. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Evangenzo's got 19 points. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Boy, he's playing out of his head, nailing everything. And the defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now, and so far, no go. Now here's Young. He has 38 in the game. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. The mid-range that you've seen from them about as good as it gets, and there has not been a drop-off in the second half. They've been firing on all cylinders in the transition game, too. I mean, Find they've the really run the break Find well. The and the Bucks making What's a up? change here. Tucker's checked in. So it's the Pistons now. And here is Billups. 20 points for him. To the paint. Wallace misses. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me They've gone after this win a little bit more. And here is Hunter following the three from Drew Holiday to the right side. Here's Ham. Lock at six. Kicks to Hunter. Hunter's gotten just one of his four attempts from the floor tonight. All going up court. And Drew Holiday, the bucket on the assist by Middleton. Middleton's got three assists in the game. Now, here's Hunter, guarded by Holiday. Will it go? Lopez with the block. Inside, here's DiVincenzo. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. And there's the call on Dante DiVincenzo. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Checking yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. Passes to Campbell. Over to the wing. Here's Ham. Now the pass to Campbell. Just five on the clock. From downtown, Hunter no good. And it's Milwaukee's ball. Down low, here's Tucker. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Tucker's got six points. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area and a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard. 
thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. For Milwaukee, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Tucker. You know, it's said that the only thing Tucker is more obsessed with than on-court success is his sneaker game. I heard that he literally has hundreds of pairs of sneakers. Bryn Forbes, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Both free throws, good from Tucker. They've been looking out of sorts in the last few possessions. And this is when you need to be patient. Find a high percentage shot and have some floor balance. Here's Ham. Pass to Campbell. He kicks to Hunter. Six on the shot clock. Floats one. And he lays it up and in. And it's all about the release when you shoot the float. So it's the Bucks now. Pass to Lopez. Passes it to Holiday. Back to Lopez. To the middle. A nice shot by Tucker. Tucker's got 10 points in the game. You know, he attracts a lot of attention, and Lopez making the most of it there to set his teammate up with an open look. Outside, Billups. Offline with his three. Here's Connaughton. No good with the layup. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now here's Billups. Kicks to Hunter. The pass to Campbell. Here's Ham. The three from Billups. Rebound Milwaukee. Lopez has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And it's sent back by Wallace. And this is why Wallace is an elite level defender. Has a great sense of timing for when to rise up and contest shots. And every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. Tell you what, those are crazy numbers, guys. I mean, believe me, I was a good rebounder in my day. It is not easy to corral that many boards in one night. And here's Holiday following the three from Chauncey Billups. And Tucker kicks to Forbes. Back to Tucker. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. To the paint. Here's Lopez. Over Wallace. His first attempt of the game finds the target. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Now, here's Hunter. No problems knocking that one down. Phillips has got 26 points. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Holiday, the pass to Lopez. Now, here's Tucker. He's guarded closely. Outside Holiday, pass to Lopez. Fades back. Detroit with the rebound. Hunter, the pass to Wallace. Oh, yes, sir. Come on, bring it. And how about that? What a sensational finish. Hey, you you got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. Yeah, to glide in and reverse it home like that, so sweet. The wide open look here for Lopez. Lopez with another miss. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. And this is some serious showmanship. Loving that tomahawk right there. Craig, he came with force, and that's not just about getting two points. That was sending, I think, a message. Well said, because it really could shift momentum here. I mean, the energy you see from the guys on the bench, when they get pumped up like that, I think everybody gets pumped up. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Pistons have shot just above 55% of the line, going five of nine.
The free throw drops for Hunter. 19 seconds left to play in the third. Now here is Holiday. He's guarded closely. Good on the shot. Holiday's got nine points here in the second half. Now Hunter. Williamson looking it over. And that one released in time, but no good. And so it's Milwaukee leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. Back to the action after this word. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. On the court for the Pistons, we've got Darko Milicic. Williamson out there with Richard Hamilton. Then there's Brown, and it's Smith in at the one spot. Now, here's Portis. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the official. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line to this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's Smith. Inside, Milicic, and he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. And, and guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And guys, I like the fact that he chose the one hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact, straightforward call, simple. Two shots. First one falls for him. And Brown drops them both. Here's Connaughton. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Portis finds Teague. Back to Portis. Shot clock at six. Here's Connaughton. And the rejection by Milicic. Here's Brown. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. And you're not going to pass up that kind of look. And Milwaukee has possession. Pass to Teague. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. At some point, guards will feel that contact and just take the trip to the line, but Teague was determined to draw the foul and convert the shot.
One shot. Free throw, good, Teague. And you know what I like most about Teague is his confidence. I mean, he's unflappable. He's cool and composed, and yet plays the game with a real fire. Now here is Smith. Passes to Hamilton. Brown outside. The Pistons need to get off a shot here. Fader on the way. And that one hits back iron. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for Detroit. Just a little under two and a half minutes of pass now here in the fourth. That's his first personal foul. At the line for the Pistons, John Smith. Two shots. Free throw drop for Smith. And so he makes both from the line. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Teague surveying the D to the inside. And Anadokounmpo with the basket on the assist by Teague. Terrific awareness from the savvy point guard. Jeff Teague is excellent at getting the ball to the open man. Here's Hamilton and the rejection by Anadokounmpo. Here's Williamson. Shots good by Milicic. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Teague with the ball. And it goes down two points. Tell you what, guys. You've just got to give Teague a lot of credit for his focus. Very poised under pressure. Detroit with the ball. Smith outside. It's rebounded by Portis. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Smith against T. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Guys, I really like how Teague attacks. I mean, he does a nice job getting inside the guts of the defense and really baiting them into fouling. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And so T gets two free throws. Now the Pistons with it. Hamilton outside, and the foul called on Antetokounmpo. That is his first foul of the game. Jones checked in for Brown. 
John Jones. Oh. Now here's Jones. Feeds it to Milicic. A great D that time from Portis. Outside T. Crops in the layup for two. Teague's got nine points now in the quarter. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they have. Now here is Hamilton. Looking to get it going. Jones trying to get open. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Excellent awareness of where to be on the offensive boards. He did it with great positioning. Outside Teague. Count it. Teague's got 11 points here in just the second half. Excellent body control that time from Teague to feel the contact but still be able to keep himself in position to score. Outside, Jones. On the wing, Jones. Here's Milicic. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Teague against Jones. And Teague, here we go. And the rejection by Milicic. When Teague drives, he's really good at baiting his defender into giving him path to the lane or committing the foul. Shooting two. Free throw, good team. Campbell, he's checked in for the Pistons. And so T gets two free throws. And the Pistons with possession here. Smith surveying the D down low. Campbell and Campbell throws it down. And watch out, you don't bring the whole basket down on top of you, young fella. I don't think he ever wanted to let go of the rim. Well, you got to make that moment last. Enjoy it for as long as you can. Here's Portis. That's good. And so Teague with the assist. He does not lack for confidence. And he shouldn't. I mean, this guy's a dangerous scorer. Jones, the pass to Smith. Now Campbell. And he uses the glass on the layup. Campbell's got four points this quarter. And here is Teague. The pass to Portis. Shot clock at five. It's stolen by Milicic. Here's Ham. Under the Kumbo defending. Ham passes to Jones. Campbell inside, working on Portis. No good from Campbell. On offense, here are the Bucks. And out of the Kumbo with the basket on the assist by T. 
Now Smith. Pass to Campbell. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Teague against Jones. There's Portis, and Portis throws it down. And doing some dirty work on the offensive glass. And then follows it up, Greg, with heavy-duty jam on his mind with a terrific putback. Got a pigeon on that one. Easy money right there, fellas. Going old school on you young fellas. Look that up, pigeon. Here's Campbell. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Bobby Portis. At the line for the Pistons, Eldon Campbell. At the line for two. Free throw drops for Campbell. Detroit making a switch here. Wallace is checked in. So he picks up just one from the line that time. And it's Hunter Takumbo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Good on the bucket. Works that one inside nicely. Here's Smith. Just five to shoot. No good that time. The Bucks go the other way with it. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Here's Jones after the basket by Milwaukee. Smith right side. That one goes in. He assists. John Jones. Teague with the ball. Jones pulls it down. The Pistons on offense. Smith outside. Here's Campbell. And too long on the shot. Campbell's gotten only two of his eight attempts to fall from the floor. Yeah, clearly a foul of frustration right there. Not his best moment. Obviously, no one on their team's happy right now, but you shouldn't be taking that frustration out on your opponent with a poor foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And just a better job of getting to the line here in the second half. Didn't get there once in the first. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Portis. And so T gets two free throws. And the Pistons with possession here. Smith outside. Pass to Wallace. Here's Ham. Wallace the pass to Ham. Rebounded by Tucker. Tucker's got five rebounds tonight. On offense here, the Bucks. Teague dishes to Antetokounmpo. Pass to Nora. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his second personal foul. Team is a penalty. At the line for your Bucks, Jordan and Wara. 
two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. 156 left in the fourth quarter. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Wallace. And again, it's the Pistons missing. And the Bucks with possession here. And there's the pass to Morrow. It's Adetokounmpo on the wing. Rebound by the Pistons. Ham's got his fourth rebound in this one. Smith left side. Over Teague. Jeff Teague with the rebound. Smith's gone one of four from the field. Outside Teague. Over to the left wing. Here's Norrell. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to T. Eldon Campbell with the rebound. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Pistons. Pass to Campbell. Shoots over Tucker. Here's Wallace. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. There's 38 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Smith against T. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. One shot. Free throw, good team. 29 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Smith against T. And it's Smith penetrating. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Teague. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. Wallace, 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 Wallace. And Wallace gets double teamed. Kicks it to Jones. Just five to shoot. Smith the pass to Jones. Beyond the arc. And no good that time. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching.